Street begging. Northern leaders must save Nigeria from global embarrassment. APC Chieftain. <laughs> we pray, oh, we pray they hear. But this, because this begging now has turned to a kind of uh, tradition in the northern part of this country. You understand? That they see begging like normal ways of life. I don't see the reason why only one man go marry four wives. You give birth to children you cannot scatter for. You don't send these children to school. The only thing you just did, you did for them, you just bring, bring them to life to come and suffer. As from uh, five, six years, they are already on the street begging. I recall that during Kulok Jonathan's uh, regime, he built a house. He built, the, I meant to say, he built schools for our So what exactly did the Northern leaders did? Did they follow up? We are seeing bandits, these, that, this, that, and that, and all that, all in the North. Because of these kind of things. They don't go to school. They don't have awareness. So tell me, when somebody give you 500 naira or 1,005, they go brainwash them. They carry gun, give them. They begin to do as they like. So the Northern leaders, they have a lot to do. Everything not be tribalism, tribalism, tri uh, uh, tribalism, and this and that and all that. You want power in your region 247. But look at your region today. What is going on today in the north? If you give them 10 years to come, not be small while I be that one. Now, those who have agreed to go to school, they have scared them now from school. Who, who, which, which parents will want to send your child to school where you know that the child will not be safe? So you see, this is really a very big problem in the North. The Northern leaders have to look into it. Nigerians, the 2023 National Coordinator of Presidential Group support of Bola Ahmed Tinubu under the auspices of the disciples of Jadaban, Comrade Adula Kim, has called on political leaders in the North and Nigeria in general to support the administration of President Bola Tinubu to address street begging phenomenon in Northern region. Comrade Adula Kim, in a statement on Thursday, noted that the number of school age children roaming and begging in the street has become so alarming in recent times adding that the social menace may cause global embarrassment to Nigeria among the Committee of Nations. The chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, also noted that the street begging children are vulnerable to recruitment into banditry and insurgency. If urgent steps are not taken by relevant authorities to team the situation, he said addressing the issue of street children would have been possible effects on the fight against terrorism, banditry, and other forms of criminality because with proper education and uh, integration into the society, perpetrators of such evil would lack where to recruit followers. He, however, urged the political leaders, particularly elected political office holders at the federal, state, and uh, local government uh, levels, to work together towards protecting the basic rights of these children led to, to room the streets by their parents. Akim Adula Adul Akim argued that leaving the tax to the federal government alone may not be the best way to tackle the problem, but for political leaders to all levels to join hands together to address the issue. If everything is concentrated on the federal government, I am afraid all the efforts to stop banditry, kidnappings, and terrorism will, will pile into insignificance, he said. He wondered, unlike in the past, when such children turn up to be responsible adults, the situation presently is that most of them are prone 
to take up to crime because they grew up with a sense of rejection in the secrets. By neglecting the welfare of these children who grew up to become a menace to society, the political leaders are only under endangering the lives of their own children. How could your children be happy when you turn millions of other citizens' children into societal outcasts? Definitely, they will not allow your children and other innocent people to have peace, he said. Comrade Abdullah Kim therefore called on all political office leaders to return to base and start rescuing the abandoned youth and street beggars with a view to safeguarding the future of the society. In the past, people had to the preaching about the fear of God from our political leaders, but now the majority of them have commercialized preaching. The politicians have hijacked them for their political reasons. The bandits and kidnappers in the forest are not willing to turn over a new life. Worse still, they find easy followers among the army of children walking the streets who now see what politicians are doing with the resources that belongs to the people as motivation to commit crime. Tell me, how do we intend to end security challenges in a nation like Nigeria, where cheating, looting, and embezzling of public funds had been normalized and legalized, he added. So sad. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.